I grew to love and respect my religion. So I wanted to do more for the faith, for the community. So once I'm told no, I want to prove them wrong that I can do this. My name is Mahshad Khosraviani. I live in Toronto, Canada. I was born and raised in Iran. At the age of 17, I decided to start training to become a priestess. I ended up going to Iran to do my first test. My second test was here in Toronto. I was given the title of the first female Mugadiyar in North America and the youngest in Iran. So growing up, I felt that as a female, I was different than the male. There were certain stuff that I was not allowed to do, and that really made me question everything. And I just couldn't understand how could this be when our teachings and our religion says that we are all equal and the same. I really wanted to prove that. But yes, I was obviously going against all these laws that were set by men to benefit men. I reached out to Mubed Kerman Katarak and Jahan Bagley and we sat down and spoke about it and they told me, yes, if you want to become a priestess, if you want to become a Mubedia, we will help you. They didn't see me as a young girl. They saw me as a human being who wanted to take that further step for her religion and they were just happy to help me. Trailblazing uh, for future generations. You know, um, if my daughters ever wanted to, uh, you know, devote themselves the, the way you have, they now have that opportunity. You see that the, you believe in something that is right. You know, Hashem Bohu tells us that that you be right because you have to be right, and not because you get some reward for it. Mm -hmm. Reward does come, but it comes from from within spiritual right. satisfaction right. that is the reward it was a title that was always carried by men and being a girl who at such a young age doing that obviously it was a big difference than what the norm is even at the beginning when the word got out that i wanted to do this i lost a lot of friends i lost touch with a lot of family, friends, and people in the community that I was close with, but they could not accept my decisions. You cannot live your life caring about what people say. As long as I know I'm not doing anything wrong, and as long as I know what I'm doing will not harm anyone, I don't care what people think. It's not wrong. It's what it's supposed to be. Just because it wasn't and it wasn't allowed doesn't mean what I'm doing today is wrong. It has granted me an opportunity to really inspire the younger generation, especially girls, to show that if they put their mind in something and work hard for it, anything is achievable in this life. Mm -hmm.